Today's adventure brings us to the Milwaukee County Zoo. Fun, animals, trains. Let's go in and check it out and see what it all has in store. The Milwaukee County Zoo. Come along, let's cook up something amazing. Here we're checking out the Japanese macaque. Little monkeys. They are just hanging out, rolling around and playing. Tons of information on them. They originated from Portugal and Spain, and we'll call Portugal Mac Macacu. It's from the Portuguese word for monkey is Macacu, and there they go. Here we go, the Japanese macaque. It's pronounced macaque, macaque. Oh boy, let's butcher that one a couple of times. They are found in the cold mountains, regions of Japan. They live in troops of 10 to more than 100 members. Females stay in their troop for life and males leave at adulthood. They eat fruits, seeds, leaves, bark, eggs, and insects. And their numbers are protected in Japan. However, they can be legally killed if they're a nuisance. Because of this, the number killed each year may exceed their population increase. And they're pretty vulnerable, heading for endangerment, so this says here. And you know, did you know they are very smart and use tools to obtain food? Look at that. And they've been studied in the wild since 1948. One of the longest running primate behavioral studies. And there you have it. I have a habitat here. Absolutely beautiful. And there they are, just hanging out, running away. Wow. Temple of the Monkeys. I'm gonna check out the monkey building here. And a couple of monkeys over here, and then there's a couple more over here. You're gonna see this is the spider monkey. He's just hanging out, literally. A spider monkey. Hairless underside of their tail has a fingerprint like grooves for grasping onto branches. You'll be able to walk on two feet on two branches. You could also hang by your tail and eat fruit with your hands. Look at this. Guess what? They can pick up seeds with their super flexible tails. Well, that's pretty cool. Leap up to 30 feet to branches below. 
multiple different things. You also have a large brain if you were a spider monkey. Yeah, a couple of them. One uh, right over there by the stone and one right over here. He's got long arms and legs, holy cow. And get to know the black-handed spider monkeys. They live in South Mexico, Central America. They live in loose-knit groups of 10 to 30. They eat mainly fruit, seeds, leaves, and insects. Numbers are declining, obviously, due to habitat destruction and bushmeat trade. They don't have any thumbs. And there are six species of spider monkeys, and some are critically endangered. As we are checking out the spider monkeys, and the monkeys and the gorillas here at the zoo today. Check out the orangutan. And he is moving around and hanging out inside. Look at that, how big he is. He is just eating some lettuce. And uh, his name's Tommy. Get to know Tommy. Our orangutan, or our pongo pygmius. Let's see some of the basics. He was born on March 18th, 1982. He weighs 220 pounds and he eats healthy snacks like yogurt, fruit, juice, and popcorn. Look at all this. It's a hybrid orangutan. That means he is half born and half... Wow. And there he goes again. And we'll show you some more of Tommy. He is just hanging out. If you were an orangutan, you would live 100 feet up in a rainforest canopy and rarely come down to the ground. Strong hands, long arms for reaching, and flexible hips for holding on in any direction. And uh, you can see there, the orangutan. And we came outside and we found the other orangutan. Alex. Look at this area they have out here. Huge. And then they have access to the indoors and a couple of different screens there. And there he is. Can we go up there? She. Yeah. Okay. Tons of cool fish. Look at all this. This is kind of cool. And the really cool part is the octopus hanging on the glass. Look at that. How cool is that? We are in the reptile and fish area. And that is a giant Pacific octopus. Oh my gosh, I look at it. A what? That is Way up on top, the white one. Starfish up there. I've never seen it. This was a couple of them. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Hey, look at the giant sea turtle from that. How cool is that? Just absolutely amazing. As we are checking out fish in the aquarium at the zoo. And look at how big the sea turtle is. Giant fish in there. Yeah, a couple of monkeys we're looking at. Look at that, he's jumping up there. Ooh, 
cool is that? One over there. I... More monkeys over here. Oh, these aren't monkeys. These are lemurs. The lemurs. A couple of them in here. Checking out the lemurs. A ring-tailed lemur, that is. How cool is that little guy? And in here we have a sloth. It's a pretty big environment for a uh, slow moving animal. Must be a couple other things in there, but there he is, right down there. He is just hanging out. Probably sleeping. The sloth. And we found the other guy. He's just hanging out by the food. And get some good old rice. Kind of see him in his exhibit there. We got a little guy hanging out up there. It's a golden lion tamarind. Kind of see him up there. Actually, have two exhibits here that connect. And uh, I lost him. He was in there. There he is. Popping out of the hole with that. Caught him. That's another little monkey. Another little guy. Uh, There's black ones. Goldies monkey. Watch him just go. Look at him jumping around. Hold it. Here it goes. Look at this one. Oh, that's because it's feeding time. Watch. Oh, you see? And look at this special treat. We're going to get some feeding time. She is actually going to feed them. How cool is that? Something you don't see every day here at the zoo. Hey, we're over checking out the elk and the caribou. Actually, one right there. He just popped up out of the little brush. And here he comes. And he's a little guy. And it looks like uh, the other guy is right over here. And the caribou is just a little guy. So cool. I'll just let you enjoy. And the name Caribou means the one who paws. And they're pretty stable, not on the endangered species list. But it's kind of funny to see things they have in their little habitat. Um, they have a boat bumper right there. He is just hanging out. Get something to eat. And you can see we made it to the hub where we got some grizzly bears. We got some more bears checking out over here. A couple of beer garden snacks that's open. And uh, the cheese hut, which we don't think is open. And let's take a look at some more stuff. And we've come to the grizzly bear. And uh, there he is, hanging out, walking right toward us. Look at this. Not many times we get to see movement where he's just usually relaxing or hanging out. And uh, there he goes, walking across. And we'll just let you watch.
we are just getting more movement out of the grizzly bear, so let's hang out and watch and see what he does. Elk we have here. And they're just hanging out. Actually, have one right down here somewhere. Oh. There they are. Beautiful elk. another bear habitat. There he is, hanging out. Get a little closer. Check that out. He is just standing there. Look at that. Bears can run up to 35 miles an hour in short bursts. Look at the huge hammock they have here. And here he comes. right into his little shaded canopy. I mean, look at that hammock he has in there, just made of fire hoses. Absolutely cool. Look at how huge he is. And here he comes. Sleeping, or don't see much, but 
They are all up and moving around. This is absolutely great to see. Now he's in the water, shaking it off. Doing a little swimming around. We're here checking out the harbor seals, and there they are, swimming around playing. Look at the little guy. So we came next to the sea seals to see the polar bear actually and uh, everything's gone, taken down and we're like, oh, what happened? And uh, sadly, the Milwaukee County Zoo is saddened to announce the passing of one of its most beloved animals, our polar bear snow lily. Due to declining health and subsequent quality of life concerns, decisions were made to humanely euthanize her. And she arrived at the Milwaukee County Zoo in 2005 from the Bronx Zoo in New York. And it goes on to say at 36 years old, she was the oldest polar bear living in human care in North America. Reaching this remarkable age is a reflection of the excellent care that she received here at the zoo. And there you have it. See the two of them hanging out there. We've come to the giraffe area. And you can see right there, a couple of them just hanging out, including the new baby giraffe. Zoo. 
And we're at the hippopotamus. They're uh, in their inside exhibit here. On the older portion, they actually have a new hippo haven. And uh, it's a hippopotamus spa. I want to show you a quick view of the hippopotamus inside. <laughs> Here he comes. And then there you go. Something you may come up and maybe drink some water and spout it. See what happens. And he's underneath. And here he comes, right here. And I'm like, yeah, look at that. Yeah. And we've made it to another open area here. I mean, look at this. All the room they have. A couple of animals there. And then uh, Zebra. Just hanging out. Hanging out in the shade. Oh, there's a couple of them back there. And what trip to the zoo is complete without some Cedar Crest ice cream? Yep. Yum. And we have made it to the Western Lowland Gorilla. He is just hanging out in his tub. Right here by the window. How cool is that? And here's another one. This is a big gorilla. Wow. And then the big gorilla. He's just hanging out by the window looking. Hey, that is our day at the Milwaukee County Zoo today. Thanks for checking it out with us. Make sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more fun adventures we cook up here on the channel as we are hitting the zoo so many more times this year. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for more zoo fun. Thanks for watching.